The Euro 2020 squad is out, people, and Gareth Southgate has given me, Neomus, a reason to watch the Euros, at least for now, because Bakayo Saka has made the England squad, at least, you know, the, the wider England squad. So this is what it is. There's the 33-man squad that they're going to reduce down to about 26, and that is what Saka is, is linked with. The best thing about this is, is that, you know, I didn't think, like, I don't rate Gareth Southgate very highly. Um, I, I definitely think that, um, you know, he's he's innovative to an extent. He's more innovative than, you know, people from his era. But in terms of innovation right now, not the guy. Not the guy at all. I believe he's a bit of a dinosaur. But he was smart enough to put Saka uh, in, the, in the squad. And more importantly, he didn't have Saka in defence. He has Saka as a forward, which means that Saka's either going to be playing as a left winger or right winger, which I think is a fantastic thing for Saka's career. For Arsenal's career, unfortunately, I don't think that this is a, a smart move. Um, and the reason why I say this, as in, and hear me out, because I know what you guys are thinking. Now, we're going to need Saka in the next coming season. Going on playing international duty, it means that we're probably not going to be able to use Saka as we might want to because he's going to need rest. I mean, to be honest, he still needs rest now. Um, he's someone that's going to be key to our squad. We're putting him at risk for injuries by having him in the England squad. But y you know what? Like, even though those are the negatives and these are all valid negatives... I love the fact that he's in the England squad. I can't remember the last time we've had an Arsenal... No, it was Maitland Niles that was in the Arsenal squad. Uh, sorry, uh, it was in the England squad. But that was kind of short-lived. Um, Saka being one of my favourite players at Arsenal. It's great to see him in the squad. It's great to see our young players getting a chance. And Saka is one of them that I know could definitely do a job uh, for England. Where is he going to play? When you look at the other forwards, you've got Dominic Calvert-Lewin, striker. Phil Foden, left-footed player. Um, mainly left footed, so for me, he's got to play on the left side. You got Greenwood there. Great to see Greenwood get in, quality player. He uh, he can play up front, right or left. Harry Kane, obviously up front under ten. Marcus Rashford anywhere up front. Saka for me, right and left. Jaden Sancho, right and left. Sterling, left. Ollie Watkins up front. So if you're talking main kind of out and out strikers, we got a few out and out strikers. Well, we only got one kind of two out and out strikers in Dominic Calvert Lewin and Ollie Watkins. And then you got Harry Kane as well, but who can also play in, in the 10 or maybe like a second striker as we saw this season under um, uh, the Portuguese Pulis, Jose Mourinho. Uh, so th there's, th there's, an, there's opportunities there for the kind of out and out strikers um, there. But when you're looking at the kind of wide players, I think that's where the majority of the competition is. You know, does he see Rashford as a wide player? Me, I do. So that immediately puts him up against the likes of Sancho and Saka uh, and Phil Foden. Those and you know, um, the media just sucks off uh, Phil Foden. So I, I don't see Phil Foden getting dropped um, out of this forward list. And unless there's an injury, it's it's not looking great. It's not looking great. But I do hope. I, I I'm in hope that Saka does can does get a chance in the England squad. I think this would be great for his career, great for the Arsenal brand, which is what I'm all about. You know, um, I don't like um, the England national team, like never really have. It's, it's just been boring the way how they play. Uh, but great for Saka to get that opportunity. I will, however, be interested in watching England at the World Cup because I think that's where the most entertaining things happen. So hopefully that does happen there. But... What are your thoughts on Saka get, getting called up to the England squad? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Like, I mean, I, I gave some pretty good examples on, you know, the benefits about him being in the England squad. Great for the brand, great for the player, great for the exposure. And the bad parts is, you know, he, he's already played a lot of football. He needs rest um, and he potentially could come back injured. So um, let me know you guys' thoughts below on that. I know this is a short video, but I already uploaded another video earlier on today that you should see in the description below and probably in the card as well. So uh, definitely do check out that content. But if not, then I will see you all on my next video, which should be in on my channel or in the end screen just now.